Deneen, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Emmeline. It is so good to see your smiling face yet again. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Um, and this is a treat to actually see you on screen. And no. I'm excited to talk with you. I'm super excited. First, maybe just let everyone know a little bit more about yourself. Okay, um, well, I live here locally in Richmond. My name is Deneen, of course. Um, my husband and I live in the north side of the city. I am also a physical therapist by trade and um, happen to own my own little boutique uh, accessories and skincare line. And um, yeah, I just, I, we enjoy all kinds of things from traveling to gardening. And I really enjoy talking about stylish things with Emmeline. So this is kind of fun and different for me. I'm so excited for everyone who's watching. Deneen has been one of my most loyal clients. She's such a fashionista. I love working with her and I'm super excited for this interview. Let me ask you, have you had any struggles getting dressed in the past? Oh, absolutely. I mean, before I met you, for one, um, I didn't know what colors looked best on me. I mean, I kind of guessed that I would probably look good in autumn colors, but I had colors all over the map and nothing ever went well together and I would get really frustrated. So I would just do the same old things over and over again and never felt cute or put together. So then when I met you and, you know, we started doing different um, uh, things like from, you know, getting the color consult to begin with and then a closet edit, I started realizing that I do have a style and I do like certain pieces in my closet and I can make them work with a lot of others. So it's just easier now than it was before because I have some tools. Yes. Oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> how has, um, how would you say the pandemic has affected getting dressed, like your overall getting dressed routine or being motivated to get dressed? Well, early on it was tough and I still struggle with um, wanting to get dressed from head to toe. Like I look cute right now on top, but um, if I pan down, you might <laughs> see some PJs. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, and being a physical therapist, I have to be very careful about what I wear. It has to be comfortable, stretchy, bendy, movie, but I want it to look good as well. And um, so uh, the pandemic has just kind of made that hard because we're home a lot more. We sit a lot more because right. we're in our own homes. Uh, so it has been a struggle, you know, and I miss um, the best accessory of all is the smile and, you know, Whenever you see me walking down, or I see my reflection in a mirror walking by at work with a mask on, I'm just like, oh, I cannot wait till this is over. <laughs> that is such a good point. I never thought about that, where it's like we can't see our smiles anymore, people's facial expressions. I was going to ask you that, like, is there anything about fashion that you're missing that you like uh, wish that, would be back? That would be foremost everything because I can look cute all I want um you know just putting on my favorite pieces and I'll feel cute yeah. but I don't feel like it shines through all the way when my personality can't shine through as easily so when I'm talking with you on the camera I feel totally relaxed but you know that mask that we have to wear right now is is tough but it's necessary and I'm happy to do it uh, but I think that's been the toughest part in the the part I look forward to in the future yes. is letting go of that once we're all vaccinated and whatnot, but um, also just like showing your personality through what you wear is, I think, at the heart of it all. Definitely. Oh, you're speaking my language. Um, <laughs> I wanted to ask you, how do you stay inspired? Like, I know for me, there's just some days where I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to get dressed, but it's like, if I wear certain colors or if I make myself look at fashion magazines, it helps me just get dressed up for myself. Is there anything that helps you just stay inspired to get dressed? Oh, I guess um, it would be, you know, having something to look forward to. Even, even something as silly as going to the grocery store right now yeah. is an opportunity to wear something other than my leggings and sweatshirt <laughs> that I would be wearing at home. Or when I go for a walk with the dogs, I might throw on my better sweatshirt, but yes. cute earrings. 
uh, might throw on a little lipstick since I'll be out in an open air. You might be able to see my face. Uh, so uh, definitely um, finding opportunities to, you know, try to wear something is is hard. But I get I'm getting inspiration from Instagram feed from um, the other um, girls in my business. We're always trying to show off what we have. And so it's kind of fun to scroll through their news feeds and see what they're wearing. Of course, you know, um, influencers like you, Emmeline, Aww. are very helpful. Thank I like you. to see what, you know, I have a handful that I kind of always check in with because I like to see different ways to wear, you know, staples like a white button down, yeah. you know, and, and how to make it more fun or unique. Yeah, so I get inspiration from basically online, I would say, mostly. Me too. That's really yeah. good, though. I think that that's really helpful to just have, like, visual references and be able to look and say, oh, I never thought about trying that. Like, is, is there anything that the pandemic you think has maybe, like, what am I trying to say? Um, moving forward when things are normal, do you think your getting dress routine is going to change from how it's been affected now like are you going to maybe dress up more or are there different things that you want to try now well one thing is i've been exercising a little bit more so my my the stuff that is in my closet is looking better but i have nowhere to wear it so i can't wear it to you know play around with what i have um and even you know what i'm excited about is paring down even more so you might have to come yes. on over and edit some more so that I can just get it right and just have fewer pieces to choose from, but really good ones. Yes. So I look forward to paring down even further, but of course I feel like I can't wait to wear something fun and cute, like a dress or a skirt, which I literally, I don't think I've worn, but maybe once or twice in the last year. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that kind of thing. Me too. Something I like to try sometimes, even if I'm not going anywhere, if I'm having a bad day, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to put on the dress. I'm just, even though there's no one around <laughs> and it, it really helps some days. I'm like, you know what? I'm rocking it in the house alone, but that's okay. And it just helps my mood. Oh, I think that's awesome. You know, I put on a pair of really cool earrings and I'll snap some photos for my biz. And that does make me feel good. I do do, I do that too. Well, that wraps up my interview, Denise. I wanted to tell you really quick, you look amazing. I really recognize that blazer. Maybe when we went shopping, <laughs> it looks awfully familiar. It looks amazing on you. You inspire me, Denise. I think you are truly an amazing person. I'm so happy that we could do this interview. And thank you for doing this. And thank you to anyone who is watching this on playback. If you are feeling like you're having issues are struggling with getting dressed. I'm doing this fun style challenge on February 22nd, and I'm going to be giving you my top tips on how to get motivated to get dressed. Deneen has already signed up, so my link is in the bio for anyone who wants to sign up. Thank you so much.